and St. Thomas More, staff and students. Today's date is Wednesday, March 31st, and the time is now 8.30. Please stand for our national anthem and today's morning announcements. Good morning. Here we are on Holy Wednesday. I want you to have some empathy and think back to what Jesus must have felt like two days before his life sentence. Fortunately and hopefully, none of us are in that situation. But there are many people who are in that situation as we speak. So let's keep in our prayers today all the people on ventilators. Or even worse, now we're starting to hear about the machine called the EMCO. I know there's one teacher in Mississauga who's on the EMCO and has been on it for about a week and a half now. They are possibly in Jesus' shoes, thinking that they may only have two days to live. Dear Lord, on Thursday you celebrated your last supper with your best friends. You knew your disciples would be sad after you died. So you gave them two big gifts. You gave them the gift of bread and wine, which become your body and blood, so we may remember you. You wash their feet to show them we're called to serve. Thank you, Jesus, for these powerful gifts. Through them, we find the way to you and to your eternal life. May we always treasure the Eucharist as the foundation and center of our faith and as your gift of life in us. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. At this point, Mr. Mache would like you to sit down and watch a video on the Holy Tritium. On Holy Thursday, one of the greatest mysteries of our faith takes place, the Lord's Supper. Joined by his 12 apostles, Jesus established the sacrament of Holy Communion and the institution of the priesthood. The bread and wine shared by Jesus and his disciples will become symbols of Christ's flesh and blood in Mass, which will bring eternal life to those who participate in the sacrament of Holy Communion. During the Last Supper, Jesus also reminds us to serve others, as he did with his disciples, by washing their feet. This act of service will be reenacted every Holy Thursday at Mass, in which the priests will wash the feet of several parishioners. The day after Christ's arrest, it is known as Good Friday, a day when we commemorate the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. On this day, no Mass is celebrated, the cross is draped, church bells are silent, altars are left bare, and all our sins fall on our Savior. Catholics gather in the Stations of the Cross to commemorate the events of Good Friday, starting with Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane and finishing with Jesus being placed in the tomb. It is a moment to remember and reflect on what the Lord has done for us. As part of the Good Friday service, Catholics venerate the cross as the instrument of salvation. On Holy Saturday, we remain in prayer, waiting for our Lord to rise from the tomb. At night, we gather together in the Easter Vigil. We lit candles that remind us that Jesus illuminates our world through his love and work. And when we allow him to shine, we renew our commitment with Jesus' work to continue brightening the world and building the kingdom of God. The Vigil is an important moment for new members who receive the sacraments of initiation accompanied by the other members of the Catholic community. After three days of darkness, light comes bright and shine on Easter Sunday when Jesus arises from death. On the last day of Holy Week, 
we see the fulfillment of God's promises to send His only begotten Son to die for us, so that our sins may be forgiven. I'm Bianca and I'm here from your student council. Knights, today council will be hosting our very own school-wide bingo game. This will take place later this afternoon and prizes will be given out to all of our winners. Teachers, an envelope with bingo cards can be found in your mailboxes, so please make sure to pick those up today. Now, I know cohort B is just so jealous that we get a bingo game, so tomorrow we will host a current events themed Kahoot following announcements. Each class will be playing as a team and a prize will be provided to each person belonging to the winning class. Attention STM, if you are interested in becoming a student trustee for our school board, check out Ms. Julia's grade 11 LMS page for nomination forms. Please note that there are two positions available and one of them will be selected from the President's Council. Lastly, our limited edition spearware is still available for you to purchase and can only be found through our school cash online accounts. Once again, pickups are found outside the council office at 1.30 on Wednesdays and Thursdays after school. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council and on Twitter at STM Nights. Thanks STM and happy Easter. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.46. Have a great day.